flew straight up. Straight up to the top row, and the guy, the actual guy that said something, ran out. He ran away. Yeah, it's all a little bit weird, man. Like, she must have just wanted the D. She wanted something. But you can see the other guy, he's like, what's going on here? Like, so FIFA 20's back with a bang. And the Yoha are the only safest and most reliable place for you to get your FIFA coins. And if you use my discount code GOMP at the checkout, you'll get yourself a discount. Right, before we start today's video, who actually saw what Eric Dyer did yesterday? The dude ran into the crowd, tried scrapping someone, bro. That's what I call a certified gangster. Anyway, today we're going to be taking a look at some of the most shocking football moments that basically shocked the world. If you've got any ideas of squad builders you want me to build, you know what to do. Drop a comment in the comments below. Do you know what? Let's have a little look at these. Some of these are really going to blow your head tops clean off. I'm not going to make you wait around longer. We, we are going to take a look at Eric Dyer. It was an absolutely outrageous moment. I don't know what he was thinking. I don't know what he was smoking. I don't know if he was high, drunk. God knows, but he was so fired up. He climbed up flights and stairs to go and beat someone up. probably all seen it on the news. It was just a crazy moment. Apparently Eric Dyer was really wound up because someone had started on his brother or called his brother something. I've heard there was racism thrown around. I'm not sure, but Eric Dyer flew straight up, straight up to the top row. And the guy, the actual guy that said something ran out. He ran away. Real tough guy, yeah? Running away. Yeah, it goes to show, don't it really? I mean, Mario Balotelli is always going to be in a moment, a football moment that shocked the world. He's always going to be it's just unfortunate that this guy goes through so much bull in his life. One for being black, two for being Balotelli. And it's just sad, really. But just another moment of Mario Balotelli being racially abused. Doesn't matter what team this guy goes to. There's always people in the crowd that like to wind him up and like to say racial things. It's bang out of order. Balotelli actually had enough. I think he boycotted this game. He'd had enough, but... It's just shit. It's just mad that it's still going. This happened last year. It's still going on every day. But one of the most shocking things that I've seen happen in a while, because this is just ridiculous, straight up. It goes to a player called Michael Erbevine. Now, we know the Bundesliga is very dodgy anyway, and a lot of dodgy referees that seem to not know what they're smoking or talking about. They're a bunch of weirdos. But I want you to take a little look at this and try and explain what has just gone on. So yeah, it's just a normal game of football. The ball goes to go out of play, and just before the ball goes out of play, Michael Erbevine stops it with his foot, or or like stops it so the ball doesn't roll away. He's almost acting like a ball boy. The referee then runs over, books him, and gives a penalty to the other team. I'm really confused. Like, apparently the referee stepped in and said something like, well, no, at the end of the day, this is the first time this has ever happened in the whole of football, by the way. Intercepted the ball before the ball went out of play, and yeah, it got all messy, and a penalty was given. No one can believe it. This guy, yeah, went down as one of the most hated players in, who do you play for? In, in the, in the Bundesliga League of Two for Kiel. Some say he never played the game again. Jack Grealish. How could we forget Jack Grealish? This is a moment that's going to be televised and shown and repeated for years and years to come. Because this should never have happened. This is violence at the highest level. And how this was allowed to even happen. How this big fat umpa lumpa got on the pitch and was able to attack Grealish, I'll never know. For those of you who don't know, this big fat guy who ran on and punched Grealish was actually sent to jail, lost his job. And I mean, was it really worth it? Like, to be a football hooligan, is it that worth it that you lose your job and you lose, you go to jail? Like, is that what, like, I thought, I thought being a football hooligan was just going to have a little tear up, have a little fight outside the pub where, you know, you go home and that's that. But when you go to jail and, and all this, I mean, what in the hell? Leave it out, but yeah, that shocked the world and more. But we're going to actually take it over to Jamaica. And I have used a player called Zeus. And I want you to try and work out why I've used a player called Zeus. These bunch of Jamaicans were playing a game and they were struck by lightning. If you don't believe me, well, you're gonna about to witness one of the most mad things. This is a mad thing, sad thing all in one. I cannot believe what I have just watched. And you ain't gonna believe it either. Yeah, a bunch of Jamaican school kids running around on a pitch. And out of nowhere, boom. Lightning starts striking people. Absolutely bizarre. I have been told as well, my sources, they're correct from looking around. 
that the one guy who got stretched off in the end actually was in the hospital for so long and he still isn't able to speak. So that just goes to show how severe that lightning strike actually was. But can you imagine that? You're just on a football pitch, chilling. Next to you know, you've been struck by lightning. Liverpool fans, you might want to look away right now because I know for a fact this is going to annoy you. I know it's going to annoy you and to be honest, I don't really care. I honestly don't care. I don't care. To see Arsenal's unbeat record not broken, I don't care. <laughs> Troy Deeney shot the world and was the first team in the Premier League to beat Liverpool this season. You know, the craziest thing about this whole situation is the fact that Liverpool got slapped 3-0 and the fact they've lost three games in four. And before that, they hadn't lost a game all year. Absolutely mind-blowing scenes, but Troy Deeney had my babies because that was a beautiful finish. To see Liverpool not break Arsenal's unbeaten record, for every Arsenal fan out there, we will hold on to that for life. That, that's all we got at the moment, we'll take it. Another pretty bizarre moment belongs to David Abraham. Now this guy looks like an absolute smacker in his picture. I'm gonna take nothing away, I know that. I know he does, he looks like, he looks dusty. Never heard of him, but this was a pretty outrageous moment. This guy actually showed, thought he's playing American football, that's all I'm gonna say. He whacked a 50 odd year old, he nearly killed the guy. Just a normal casual game of football until David Abraham felt the need to give this guy a dookin. Boom. Knocked the living sense out of this guy. Some say the guy had a heart attack. The manager had a heart attack. He literally broke his, his pelvis, his ribs, his arm. The guy was frail and snapped an half. David Abraham literally did not care. Obviously the whole team, obviously he got sent off. Obviously the whole team went crazy, but David Abraham, you lunatic. He really tried to kill a man. Let us not forget about Kaka. One of the only players where a woman referee has actually asked him for a selfie mid-game. If you don't believe this is shocking, I don't really know. Like, I can't. I, you, I just don't know what's going on here. It just, to me, it still doesn't add up. How could a referee ask a player for a selfie and get away with it, whether it's a friendly match or not? Yeah, it's all a little bit weird, man. Like she must have just wanted the D. She wanted something. But you can see the other guy, he's like, what's going on here? Like, come on, just get on with the game. Absolutely bizarre moments. But yeah, Kaka, he's that sort of guy. He's that sort of dude. Where women are women want selfies. They can't resist. But yeah, unfortunately, it gets damn right disgusting once again. Musa Magea, or Magea was subject to more racism in Paul. A lot of you actually haven't seen this. This got sweeped under the rug. This, he actually boycotted the game that game. He was like, nah, I'm going. Players were trying to throw stuff at him and all sorts. It's just disgusting, bro. This is so bad. I mean, that's just a little snippet of what went on, right? But his players were trying to keep him on the pitch, which I don't know if I agree with that or I accept. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. If you're being racially abused, you should go. But... What do you lot think about that? That is some shocking, shocking stuff, mate. Who would have thought? It's going on everywhere. No matter where you go, it's going on. No matter where. And of course, when you go into Bulgaria, or wherever this was, Romania, Bulgaria, all these countries, Eastern European, they can't seem to keep their mouth shut, can they? They just ain't used to black people trotting around on football pitches, are they? So what do they do? They get racist. We saw what happened. It was one of the most shocking moments Players were holding up no respect signs, like racial flags. It was it was an outrageous moment for football, international football anyway. And Tyrone Mings was subject to a lot of racism that game. It was it was horrific. I mean, you've got fans doing monkey chants, you've got fans holding up signs, doing Hitler stances and all sorts. It was pretty gruesome what went on. And the worst thing about it all is their manager, or yeah, I'm sure it was their manager, come out and said that he couldn't even hear anything. It's it's just outrageous. And last but not least, we have a bit of an absolute wild one, actually. I don't know if you saw the ball boy for Tottenham actually assist a Tottenham goal in the Champions League. If you haven't seen this, this is, a, this is quite eye-opening. This actually goes on. Jose Mourinho is training ball boys to assist goals. And it's worrying. I mean, look at this little dude. He's quick on his feet. He's giving the ball. He's assisting goals and Harry Kane was buzzing. Jose Mourinho even went over and gave him a little spud and a hug, bro. I don't know what sort of stuff they're training these kids at Tottenham, but I, I mean, it, this can't be legal. This is unbelievable. But yeah, that's going to be a lot. I mean, we've pretty much seen it all today. If you haven't enjoyed, you know what to do. Drop it a like right now, but 
football moments that really have shocked the world. So, my team. 